Mr. Basic here. This is an example of how I use the Novation Launch Control XL with a VCV rack patch. After the demonstration, I'll give a short explanation. Enjoy. Okay, so, hi everybody. Now, mapping this was pretty easy with the MIDI map module over here. And uh, it's kind of just a touch this, choose the thing, touch the next one, choose the thing, touch the next one, choose the thing. It's just back and forth. And you can just keep on going to the next one, the next one, the next one. And when you're done, you can click somewhere off the module or... Uh, just go to do something else and and it will you know go into you know sleep mode for not mapping things right at the moment sort of thing so basically yeah I've got the I've got everything is is um, all my sounds are plats except for rings here I've got one two three four five six seven plats and rings and um, so basically, what I've got going on for mapping is um, 
I've got the faders for everything, but you might notice here that um, I've got four stereo tracks and four mono tracks mapped on this. And the way I've done this is I've mapped one of the faders and then I mapped the other fader to the same one. And so left and right, I can use one fader to move left and right. You notice that happening here? Same thing with uh, the next one. I'm using, I'm doing the second fader, but three and four are going. Same thing with the next one. Arpeggio. And the bell. And these are both being sequenced by Entropia. And, uh, so as you can see, this is the the arpeggio. Dun, 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 dun. And this is the bell. Bum. Bum. <laughs> I've uh, memorized the pattern anyway, even though it's kind of uh, off. So, um, then... Then what we've got is our drum tracks are mono, and so I've got them on these these four here. Oh. And so basically, um, yeah, so these four melodic tracks, I've got, I changed the reverb. Reverb all the way up, reverb all the way down. So I've got the reverb on each one, on one of, each one of these knobs for each of the stereo tracks. And for these four knobs, I've got each of the drum tracks um, actually being modulated through topograph, which in real life is mutable instruments grids. In VCV rack, it's a topograph and, by, and made by Valley. Uh, now I've got two of them. Since they have a sort of Boolean logic thing going on with the topograph that um, they're sort of an and and or, uh, mainly an or back and forth sort of uh, between all the sounds, to where if one is sounding then the other doesn't sort of thing, and then you play with rhythms that way by mapping them to it to an uh, uh, their x and y positions on a sort of grid that you don't see here, um, and uh, then there's a chaos knob uh, to to change the randomness even more. And so what I've done is I've mapped a lot of each one of these topograph modules, I mean, um, each one of these topograph uh, functions uh, to these knobs here. And so for the drums, um, I've got the amount of bass drum, relative amount of bass drum, but it's not, it's not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's patterns up until just hitting all the time. And so basically what, what you've got is this. The more you move it up, it has different kind of patterns and then it's, and then it just hits all the time. Um, and then same thing with, just with all of them. And hitting none of the time is on the other side of that. So, There's, and there's different patterns th throughout. And so the other thing is that I've got two topographs here for my drum sounds, which are also being made by Platts. And um, basically what I have is the bass drum and snare on one, so they can go off of each other, right? Because that's kind of a natural thing to do, right? what I mean? Now, and for the hi-hats, uh, open and closed, I have on this other one uh, in the orange and yellow. And the orange and yellow knobs are also, there are these knobs right here, and that brings more or less of it. I'll bring the open hat down a little bit. Um, and, and so, basically here, I've got the X and Y of the closed and open hi-hats here. That's their position on here. It creates different rhythms as you move these. 
And these two are the chaos knobs for each of the topographs. And so I've got these, these knobs for the snare and bass. So I've got snare and bass XY. I've got, uh, and so that changes the pattern for the snare and bass. And then, um, yeah, and then chaos change, just changes the pattern all around for all of them. Especially if you've got them up higher. So yeah, the, the topographs are really fun to play with uh, because the mutable instruments grids are really fun to play with that way. Um, Boolean logic is great and uh, mapping these to actual tactile knobs really makes a difference for performance playing. It just gives you ratchets whenever you want ratchets. And, um, and it's a great thing. And I love having, you know, using this like you would in a DAW, you have your reverbs on your channels and your, and you know, so I like the mixer here. Um, I like VCV rack for doing all of this stuff because it's easy for me to, uh, to work with a music making system. If I can start from scratch and like, okay, here's my mixer channels. Here's my, this, here's my, that. And there aren't all these other things that I don't want to do involved in the screen and, you know, who knows. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.